Hello, I'm Rob Myers from Evermore Creations. Today we're doing a little something different. I'm going to make uh, venison meatloaf. I did this uh, about a month or so ago, and it turned out awesome. A friend of mine, uh, Kevin, gave me some uh, ground uh, venison, and uh, I'm going to make some more of it. So, we'll see how my cooking videos come, come out. I'm uh, in the middle of uh, re-doing uh, my kitchen, so it's a mess, and that's the reason why. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to, well actually I'm going to first turn the heat on uh, the stove at 350. get that warmed up as we're uh, doing this. So I don't have a whole lot. I haven't had a chance to get to the store or anything like that so I'm doing what I have in the in my cabinets and uh, in my refrigerator. So we're just going to do this and that's what I did last time too. And I ended up, I got some sausage uh, so I'm going to use that to kind of help out a little bit with it, add a little bit more. And it's a uh, Smithfield breakfast sausage says it's hot but it's not too bad at all so I'm gonna put that in there and I'm not I'm not a cook either so I, I just like playing around but uh, I do often cook with uh, a minimum of what's in the in the with uh, what's minimum in the cabinets and stuff because I don't always have a whole lot. I'm a little distance away, and uh, I'm a little distance away from the stores and stuff, so I don't go that often, and so. Until I absolutely need something, then, <clears throat> then I run and, and get it, or if I'm out and about, I'll get it. But anyways, especially these times, eh, it's a little crazy. And I'd rather not deal with all the crap out there right now. So right now I'm going to, let's see here, I don't have peppers, actually I do. You know what? Usually I use hot peppers. I use my jalapeno peppers in it. Uh, it cooks it off. It's pickled, uh, pickled ones. I'm going to do the banana, banana peppers in this one just to see how that tastes. I love banana peppers, so we'll end up doing that. I'm going to chop them up because <clears throat> I want the smaller pieces. Take a nice big amount of them. I don't do quite so much of the jalapenos because if you do too much it might get a little warm. The last one turned out awesome. So hopefully, and of course I didn't write it down, so <clears throat> kind of do the, doing this video so I can uh, also have that to look back on and proof that I actually made it. <clears throat> Alright, so take that and just drop that off. And with there, get that juice in there too. Alright, so another thing is I'm going to do garlic. Fresh garlic, I love garlic. I learned this little trick, it helps out a little bit. Put it in a glass jar, plastic one works. With That should be enough anyways. Break it up a little bit. Let's try it again. It does bruise it, so if you, if you can put the top in, if you bang on it too much, I do have a couple bruised ones in there. Ah, smell good. I love the smell good. You shake it up, dump her out. 
You can do it several times. I'm going to take the ones that have the little bit of skin on it. I'm going to put them right back in here. If you, <clears throat> you can store them in there for a little bit without the skin. I found out that they actually mold. If you uh, leave them in there too or very long, <clears throat> it's better to hold them together. Pull out the little cloves as you need them. But I use a lot of garlic. I've been uh, doing at least one clove a day uh, during this what's going on right now just to help out with uh, my immune system and stuff and I believe in garlic is a it'll keep a lot of things away keep a lot of things away maybe even some girls but most of the girls I know like garlic so I'm not worried about that like that one is bigger clove it's a little bruised Good. This one still has the skin on it. Oh, one more, one more. So I'll go ahead and peel this one. All right, all right, all right. So <coughs> we'll put them in there. Put. Them cap back on we'll, we'll save them for morning or the next next project so we do some garlic I do love my garlic, so <coughs> this time of day or year, I'm going to throw four pieces of to uh, bread in there to make my toast. I'm going to end up using toast because I don't have nothing else. I so I suppose you could use crackers. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there because I like that. And I'm going to make my sauce while I'm sitting here waiting for that. <coughs> Got these two packs of uh, barbecue sauce and now uh, one of my packs of frozen sandwiches or something. So I'm just going to throw them in there so I don't waste them. Once they've been going in the drawer and sit there for years. I may add them, but I'm going to see what I got. I think I got some uh, more barbecue sauce. But it looks like I'm out of barbecue sauce, so I'm going to just add ketchup to it. I think that's what my mom used to put on uh, the top of hers was ketchup and ah, it's all right. I do like barbecue sauce or something a little sweeter. Yeah, we'll sit that there. And I always like molasses, so I'm gonna add a little molasses to it. Turn the heat on. So I already did that. Of course, uh, pepper. Some of that in here and in there, and just a little bit of salt. I don't, I don't put a whole lot of salt in that. So, waiting for that molasses. A little bit of heat on there and it will come out really nice. <clears throat> Don't need a whole lot of that molasses. That does add pretty good. But it's good for you. If you 
I don't have no honey right now either, so honey, I always like adding honey to it. Especially if it's local honey, I like to add to just about everything, at least about at least a teaspoon a day, at least a teaspoon a day during especially times like this and allergy seasons and stuff like that. I believe that helps out quite a bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this. I do want to add, I'm going to have to add more ketchup, I think, to that. But, uh, I'm going to just throw all these up. Oh, I got eggs, too. And I do not have onions, so I'm going to I remember I'm going to put some onion powder in there anyways. You don't have to worry about the cleansing this. Cleansely, you don't have to worry about the cleansing this because it's just me eating. The dog will probably have a little bit too. She likes it. I wish you could taste it because the last one really turned out really well. And I still have some homegrown chicken eggs a friend dropped off, so I'm going to use those. I think that's it, right? Onion powder. Onion powder, onion powder. powder. All right, I do have some onion powder. Do not have onions, but crispiness of the onions is always nice, but I think those peppers will work out pretty decent. Do a little bit of onion powder, and I'm going to do oregano. I know some people use parsley and stuff. I'm just not a whole lot, but I'm going to throw a little bit of oregano in there. And I like putting chili powder in just about everything I make, so put some chili powder in there. <clears throat> Alright, now the fun part. Let's mix her up. I think I needed a bigger bowl. Oh, this has been the last, uh, we're here in Michigan and they, uh, doing some goofy things with this restrictions. And Stepping the uh, over, stepping the boundaries and stuff. I believe, I believe in us all being safe. Being healthy, stay in your distance. Always stay your distance. Shoot, I, I wish everybody would take some of this when the cold and flu season comes around next year and just stay away from me six foot if you have it. <clears throat> And we'll see where it's at. I'm going to give it another 30 days. I'm going to have to do something. I'll be keeping making videos like this how to make stuff out of uh, making. Making what you can out of a cabinet. Making what, making what you can out of a kitchen cabinet. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hmm. Feels like I'm missing something. Feels like I'm missing something.
except as well. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it in here. Let's see, that's staying together really good. I guess they say per presentation most important. As long as it's good in my belly, it's good for me. All right. Uh, now we'll put a little sauce on there. We add more ke ketchup to that. Make any hot have to make any hot dogs this week. Because I'm out of ketchup. I can make my own out of my tomato crushed tomatoes. Coat I'm gonna save a little bit left to put on right at the very end. I like to coat the whole thing. Make sure it's all coated nice and good. And all right. she looks like right now we'll see what she looks like when she comes out of the oven I don't know how long I'm going to cook it I'm going to check it probably around 30 minutes 25 30 minutes it's pretty thick so I'm going to do 20 minutes 20 minutes and check on it all right I'll be back you guys All right, it's time to get her out, or at least check her. Been in there for 35 minutes. My oven's a little off, so. <clears throat> yeah, she says she's at uh, 325. I have it set at 350, so it's a little off. So I'm going to just check it. center here and I don't think it's done I'm gonna let it set for a little longer I'm gonna kick it up to uh, kick it up to 400 and we'll go another 15 minutes and we'll come back and check her All right, put it in for another 10 minutes. Get down. Did she, did you see, did she take some of that? That's all right, she's all right, she is. I don't think she has anything. It 
still ain't done. Alright, we'll put her in for longer. Alright, set her back down to 350. It's starting to burn around the outsides. Put a little bit more of this on it. I'm not going to have much to put on while I eat it, but I'll put a little more of this on there. I guess. Okay, just a little bit for today. I'll have to figure something out. Hopefully it's done now. I have to update my oven, I think. Or tear apart and see if, uh, see if I can clean it up, maybe. Anyways, I'm going to let, should let it set, shouldn't I? Yeah, it feels a lot, feels a lot better. What did I do with the fork? I put it in here. I think once it sets, it's going to be excellent. Mm, look at that. Nice caramel on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to get some of that with that. A little bit of this on there. Definitely hot. Excellent. Excellent. This time I can taste a little bit more of the sausage. Last time I couldn't taste the sausage quite so much. Still really good. So make sure you use the sausage you really like. Very good, very good. I gotta get some of that with that. It's more of those peppers in it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'll make sandwiches out of this for the rest of the week. I'll eat a little bit more tonight. And uh, <clears throat> turned out good. Turned out good. If I had some cheese, I would actually put some cheese in there too. I think cheese would be, I don't like putting cheese on anything. But uh, I would put some cheese in there also. Or maybe in the middle. Seeing where they roll it up on it. But anyways, excellent. If you like my videos, if you want to see me do more cooking videos, i got a couple other ideas uh, we got going on. and I try to do a little bit here and there. But I'm just trying to get some videos up. Get my editing. Editing. Get my editing down and waste some time here while uh, I'm uh, stuck at the house. So if you like my videos, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell, and you'll be notified the next time I come up. You guys stay safe. God bless. Happy Easter. And see you tomorrow.